Admittingly, I'm finding the selection for Spring 2020 anime to be a bit limiting. But one title that has piqued my interest is a show featuring a young girl, Artie, as she aspires to be an artist. It's as if it was her destiny. But wait! Because while her dad encourages the cultivation of her talent, her mother, however, is an unremitting bitch. Where have I seen this before? And if that weren't enough, spoiler warning peeps! Her dad passes away in the first frickin' chapter, leaving Artie under the uncaring thumb of her mother, who tells her daughter that she can never be happy without marrying a man. Not wanting to acquiesce to her mother's expectations, Artie ventures out into society to realize her dream of becoming an artist via becoming someone's apprentice. Taking place in the early 16th century, during the Renaissance, Artie, a girl, finds it difficult for anyone to offer her tutelage for her passion, until she comes into contact with a man named Leo, who begrudgingly accepts the new apprentice into his residence. Now, in case you are wondering, this story is loosely based on the relationship between Leonardo da Vinci and Salai. Salai, for those unfamiliar, was an artist slash pupil of da Vinci from the age of 11, and was possibly the inspiration for the famed Mona Lisa painting. Oh yeah, another thing. Sly was a dude. Uh, y you know, one with a penis and all. An androgynous one who was da Vinci's male lover. And if you don't believe me, check out his sketch of Sly Salami. Uh, you don't have to if you don't want to, I don't blame ya. Which is why I surmise Artie cuts her own hair to give an appearance that is somewhat feminine and somewhat masculine. Not unlike Sly. After reading the first three chapters, I'm relatively fascinated to see how Artie and Leo's work relationship develops, and whether or not they develop affections for one another, platonic or otherwise. In terms of the characters' personalities, Leo is an aloof individual with little to no drive in life. Artie, on the flip side, is a spunky firecracker who cares not about the defined roles of a classical European society. Her aristocratic upbringing makes her feel like a caged bird with minimal autonomy over her life decisions. Therefore, she is determined to work as hard as physically possible to prove her mother and society wrong about their misplaced conceptions on a woman's place in the world. This will definitely be a slow burner that will rely heavily on its exposition, but if they manage to pull it off, along with integrating historical factoids from the Renaissance era, it will be an enjoyable show to watch, and one that will help with our own edification of the period. If this preview video piqued your interest, already comes out Saturday April 4th, and if you want me to preview any other anime coming out this spring 2020, then let me know in the comments. But until next time, catch you on the flip side.